this book online, hard copy, is eighteen forty-five. Yeah, now this book goes for thirty-five dollars, and I believe online it was like it was like um, eighteen forty-five or something like this. But right here it says um, thirty-five dollars, brand new, listed for like eighteen forty-five. I told you things can skew that. You may go on Amazon and it may be more or it may be less, but I purchased it for three dollars, and I'm so grateful to have Reese with a spoon book next now this book i was like oh i have to get her book i was so excited to purchase her book because the point okay one of the reasons why i was so excited to purchase purchase this particular book is because when i first started online she was one of the first people i followed in terms of coaching in terms of digital creation i was like man she is killing the game I mean, she was such a life-changing shift for me because I was able to sit back. I spent a lot of time with marketers online when I first got online. Oh, yes, I did. Because I wanted to know what they were doing. So I listened to a plethora of webinars. But this particular person, um, I've discovered her through the Golden 7. I coined some people the Golden 7 because it was seven of them. You had um, James Wetmore. Melanie Duncan. I discovered this person by following the Golden Seven, and I call, I coined them the Golden Seven. And the Golden Seven consists of Melanie and her husband, Devin the Duncans, Melanie and Devin Duncan, um, Lewis Howes, he was in that group, uh, James Wetmore, uh, Amy Porterfield, all of these people, it's amazing, all of these people we're creating something digital. Either it be a webinar, either it be a YouTube channel, either it be Pinterest. Like Melanie was known for Pinterest. Amy Porterfield was known for Facebook ads. Um, oh my goodness. They were actually creating digital courses before they became who they are now. That's the, that's the amazing part about it. So this particular person, I discovered her through them because they were a part of her affiliate program. And I am, and this is before she got on Oprah. This is Marie Forleo. I was following her before she got, before she knew Oprah. That's why I say this is full circle for me. It is so amazing to know I actually invested my time into people who I know became true assets. Uh, that means I'm doing something right. Because Marie Forleo, she, I remember I was on her webinar <laughs> it's so funny and i remember when she was saying when she first got started she would have her laptop in new york and she would be going around just using her laptop it's amazing how these people got started and i <laughs> found her book at goodwill what a treat and what a treasure and what a blessing to get her book marie forleo i have been following you for a while i'm excited to have your book hey the tropicana orange the Roadmap to Results, The Magic of Belief, Eliminate Excuses, How to Deal with Fear of How to Deal with Fear of Anything, Define Your Dream, Start Before You're Ready, Progress, Not Perfection, Refuse to Be Refused, The World Needs Your Special Gift. This is such a beautiful blessing to have her book and to know who years ago I was following her before she even got on Oprah Winfrey's show. This is a treat. They had a mastermind group. That's the funny part about this. Melanie and Devin Duncan, Lewis Howes, um, it was a guy named Brian something. Oh, I'm trying to remember. And they all had some contribution. One did leak in, one did webinar, one did YouTube, one did Pinterest, one did Facebook as I call them the Golden Seven. Okay. That's that's amazing. All right, next. Okay. Now again when I saw this book, I said, today is the day. This was a beautiful day. Now, let me explain something. I don't get all these books. If you see a bag, I may can walk into you. I was going to say walk to YouTube. I may can walk into Goodwill, right, and come out with nothing. Or I may come out with a box or two with books. So, I don't, I think with this bag, I think that was it. You know, with this bag, this bag per se. But anyway, I found another Alice Walker book. I said to myself, <laughs> Alice Walker, honey, 
Alice, Alice Walker, okay? And as I shared earlier, Alice Walker is known for the masterpiece. And what, she's known for many masterpieces, but one of her masterpieces is the color purple. Yes, and this is called The Same River Twice, Honoring the Difficult by Alice Walker. And I said, okay, I'm gonna get her book. Never know, I might have all her books before it's over, okay? She's with a beautiful dog, another beautiful picture on the back, and some of, and another thing, I'm gonna say this, I don't know if it's true or not, but Alice Walker signed his book. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right there, okay? I'm gonna leave it right where it is. All right, so, I can't wait to put this in my lobby area. All right, so some of her table of contents, revolution, revolutionary and other poems and love and trouble stories of black women, once poems, Meridian, the third life of Grange Copeland, Goodwill, Willie Lee, I'll see you in the morning. Um, you can't keep a good woman down, stories in search of our mother's garden, woman is prose and, it's, and it goes on and the beautiful list goes on. I purchased the book for $3, okay? And actually, it's $2.92, but I always just round off the $3. When I go to Google and I purchase, they actually want to round up, and I absolutely do, because there's contributions to donations. Um, but this book on Amazon, I saw for $24. Such a good deal. Yes, $3, Alice Walker, The Same River Twice, Honoring the Difficult. How beautiful to find two of Alice Walker's books. Life is beautiful. What you're seeking is seeking you. Just remember that. What you are seeking is definitely seeking you. Let's move on to the next one, okay? Now, when I saw this book, I thought about this gentleman. I was like, oh, I saw the movie. Yes, I, I saw the movie. Mm, and the movie was a 10. The movie was excellent. It was a 10 out of a 10. It was excellent. Um, we all love him. He's a great father, great husband. Um, everybody loves him. He's lovable and laugh. Everybody laughs with him. He makes you laugh. And he is not the writer of the book, but you all understand why I'm saying this. I actually purchased The Pursuit of Happiness. Yes, I'm talking about Will Smith. Remember he played in the movie? But this is a dedication to Chris Gardner, the author, okay? I said, I cannot leave Chris Booth on this shelf. And now I've seen, them, I've seen Will Smith in this movie probably about five times. <laughs> you can't help but watch Will Smith that much. It's like I love to watch uh, the Browns and the Pains on BET Plus, honey. I watch my BET Plus, my Browns and my, y'all know the Browns and Pains don't play by time of period. I can watch that over and over like good times. I can watch it over and over like it's a new. I can put it on and work. I can put it on and clean up. I can put it on and clean. Now, only two shows I can do that is the Browns and the Pains on BET Plus. If it's something else, for some reason. I don't know if it's the it's the, the writing is relatable. I don't know if it's, it makes me think about home. I can watch the Browns and Pains all day, every day. I'm telling y'all. Now, I watched The Pursuit of Happiness like five times. And so I was like, I have to get Chris Gardner's book. Now, if you haven't seen The Pursuit of Happiness, I highly recommend for you all to go see it. I don't know what streaming, platform is on, but I'm pretty sure it's easy to find, okay? It's one of, we're talking about Will Smith. <laughs> His work is easy to find, okay? It's very accessible, okay? So, this book is called The Pursuit of Happiness, a life story that inspired the motion picture, a long walk to Wall Street, and how others describe my life. But when I look back at the journey from homelessness to prosperity, Arity. I hold one thing dearer than all else, my commitment to my son. This is our story. How beautiful. And Will Smith made his story so real. Okay. So, uh, look like this was signed as well. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. I can't wait to put this in my home library. Yes. Okay. Some of the titles. Take the contents. 
candy, okay? The No Daddy Blues, whereas Mama, ooh, Chris, I can't say this word. <laughs> We're just gonna say B I T C and then Brew, okay? We're gonna skip that. Um, the World Beyond Pictures of Life turned out, turned out an intro and turned out advanced. California's dreaming and so so forth on. I don't want to give everything away, okay? But Chris Garner's book became a motion picture and Will Smith knocked it out the ballpark. And currently, currently on Amazon is fourteen dollars and forty three cents. Now, as I said before, it may be skewed because of the holidays. It could be more or less. But what I saw was $14.43. And I purchased Chris Garner's book, The Pursuit of Happiness, for $3 at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Love you all. Love Chris Garner and love some Will Smith. We all love Will Smith and we all love Chris Garner. Okay, next. Now, I was interested in this book. I was like, what is this book talking about? I had to get it because of the title. I was like, let me see what they talking about. It's called The Richest Tent. The Richest Tent. A journey through the American wealth boom and the lives of the new rich. So I was like, when they say new rich, I'm thinking about okay, people who created apps, um, any type of social media, anybody who's computer savvy, things like that. I said, okay, yeah, I want to learn by Robert Frank, and I just thought the cover was very interesting. I was like, I think this would be a very good book to read, and. I'm gonna give you all some of the table of contents, right? Okay, Butler, boot camp, okay. The third wave, uh, the era of the entrepreneur, making it, uh, living it, losing it, barbarians in the ballroom. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good book when I saw these titles. I said, oh yeah, definitely. And they have a cute little puppy on the front, okay, a little poodle. And this book is $12.18. $12. And 18 cents on Amazon, but I purchased it for three dollars. Yes, three dollars. Okay, so let's open up the next bag. Okay, so when I saw this book, the first thing I thought about was history, culture, um, the finer things in life. I thought about treasures. I thought about artifacts, you name it. And also thought about a coffee table book. <laughs> this book is called Jewels on the Crescent, Masterpieces of, and it's a very long name, but it also says, formerly Prince of Wales Museum of Western India. So I'm gonna say this again, Jewels on the Crescent. Masterpieces of formerly Prince of Wales, formerly Prince of Wales Museum of Western India. And I was like, oh, this is going to be really great to have. They have pictures in here. And I was like, oh yes, this is something I definitely want. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful coffee table book. And I was like, this is definitely something to invest in. And let me see, because they have some, some things in Indian, Indian written. Let me see if it's in English. Okay, it is. So some of the table of contents, you have um, sculpture, terracotta, stone, bronze, painting, miniature painting, cloth painting, decorative art, textile. So the Himalayan, this is gonna be really, really interesting. And I said, I want this. This is a beautiful coffee table book because I plan on having books throughout my place and beautiful paintings and rugs and definitely um, plants. So yeah, this is beautiful. Now currently, currently on Amazon, this book is going for $65, $65. I saw it, 65. $65. I purchased this book for $3 at Goodwill. Hardback books are $3 and softback books are two. And this book was $65 brand new or $65 on Amazon. Next. When I saw this book, I thought about 
my morning routine, my morning ritual, however you all want to title it, however you want to title it. So I said I have to get his book, The Dalai Lama. Um, lately, I have been into learning how to breathe as well as meditate. Those two have been my main things, meditating and breathing. And I'm doing a lot of breath work and a lot of meditation. You know, besides your journaling, your visualizing, your affirmations, your all of that good stuff. I'm incorporating even some breath work and meditation. But when I saw the Holiness, the Dalai Lama book, I said, I have to get his book. I was like, this is such a treat. Ethics for the new millennium, the Dalai Lama. And some of his... Um, table of contents you have modern society and the quest for human happiness which is important no magic no mystery redefining the goal the supreme emotion the ethic of restraint and so much more I don't want to give it all up I want you all to have interest yourself you know let it be organic and hopefully this is motivating you to want to start you a book collection and, be, and begin to read I really feel that significant. Um, this book was $24.95 on Amazon and I purchased it $3. $3. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Have access to all this greatness. Um, I feel I will be a servant and I will read these and share information. I'm just so grateful. You be a hoarder, you know, but it's, it's ways how you express yourself. You know what I mean? You don't want to hoard and just keep it all to yourself. So I feel I would like to have like an intimate um, reading group um, at my place in the near future. You know, my real, you know, my family and friends, you know, sometimes and or just do videos and kind of share some of my knowledge that I've learned. But I am so grateful to discover these treasures, especially at the price point. Mm. Okay, so let's move on to the next goodwill bag of course of treasures and i don't know why i keep going it down because i have to pick it up i don't have an assistant and i know i gotta get one <laughs> so let's move on to the next bag okay so we're moving on to our next bag of treasures from goodwill and we're talking about books reading all right so the next one okay Okay, this book is called The Art of Cigars. Now, I do not drink nor smoke. I don't participate in any of that. I just thought this was a beautiful coffee table book, The Art of Cigars. And um, I just felt it's kind of like distinguished men smoke cigars. <laughs> but anyway, I actually purchased it for a coffee table book. I just thought it was really nice because I have... Um, I have supercars, I have um, Ferrari, a Ferrari book, coffee table book. I have to show you all my coffee table books. I have like probably like 12 of them, 12 good ones. So I'm kind of working on that, but um, I kind of ripped a little bit. I felt this would be a nice asset, the cigars aficionados. Um, and some of the table of contents, this is strictly a coffee table book, okay? You have Modern Day Treasure Chest. You have Making the Cut, Grand Opening, Matchless Cigars, I mean Matchless Accessories, Old Flames, Functional Art, and it goes on. I just felt like this would be a nice asset to, coffee, to my coffee table. Okay, so online this book is $41.12. I purchased this book for Three, for three dollars at Goodwill. Felt like it would bring value to my coffee table. Okay, next. Now when I saw this, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. The Wizard of Oz, it's like a, it has like, it's not a man, it's, it's like a, okay, so let me just tell y'all what it says. Prompt book and vocal parts presented by the Royal Shakespeare Company, The Wizard of Oz. Um, by Frank by L. Frank Baum with music and lyrics of the MGM motion picture score by Harold Arland and E.Y. Hartberg. Background music by Herbert Stothart. Book adaptation by John Kane from the motion picture screenplay. 
1987 Turner Entertainment. And I just thought this was a very good investment to have because I was thinking about putting a play together. It's something that I want to do. Um, just here in Atlanta. But I said I need to get this because it kind of helped me with structuring the play. You know, they don't, they don't have a lot of plays like they used to. You know, this the Tyler Perry era has evolved to motion pictures and shows. You know, I just, people don't do plays like they used to. But anyway, I just felt this would be a good asset for me to start so I can actually see how it's formatted. This, you can't go wrong. And also, I like The Wizard of Oz, but my favorite is The Wiz, okay? With Donna Ross and Michael Jackson. Um, but yeah, they were actually working really hard. This was $2. You cannot find this online. It, maybe it was just something that they did at a local charity event. Um, or it just says the World Shakespeare Company. All right, next. All right. Now, as I said before, I'm getting into this plant-based era. I'm just really loving, I'm just falling in love with eating fruits and vegetables. I'm learning so much. It's like every day something changes or something um, shifts or it's just something new. So this book is called Herbs. And of course I have a plethora of books on herbs, honey. I said, if, if it's on, like I say, anything dealing with herbs, plant-based, vegetarian, vegan, um, gardening, I'm gonna get it. Self-development, I'm gonna get it. Um, good coffee tables, I'm gonna get it. Someone teaching something, oh, so I'm gonna get it, okay? <laughs> but this is by Leslie Bremenis. Um, and this book, let me give you all some uh, table of contents. Okay, cooking with herbs, herbs in the home, herbs for beauty, herbs for health. You can't beat that. You can't beat it whatsoever. I'm like, this is the perfect book. You know what I mean? Oh, I just love stuff like this. I'm such a Southern Belle. So I was like, this is a good investment and it was only $2. It's $24.75. $24.75 on Amazon. Yep. Next. This is another one. The first time gardener growing vegetables. All the know-how and, and encouragement you need to grow and fall in love with your brand new food garden. Plan and plant your first garden. Grow the best grow the best varieties. Care for your plants organically. Harvest lots of homegrown veggies. Jessica Swords and some of her table of content. I'll share some. This is a beautiful book, pictures and all, very structured. Walk into the classroom, oh, that's nice. The foundation where every garden needs to succeed, creating your garden, growing with, growing with the seasons, the need for seed or not, and it goes on. This is a beautiful, beautiful investment. This was $2 and on Amazon, on Amazon is $15.79, $15.79 and I purchased it for $2. Goodwill. And did I share with you all my shirt? I love the library. One of the one of the safest places to be in the library. I love the library. I love the library. It's one of my favorite places. Okay, so let's move on to the let's move on to the next book. Okay, when I saw this book, I was like, I have to get this book. <laughs> I have to get the book. I have to get it. Because I want to take up Pilates. And I said, before I go into anybody's studio, I will be reading this book. I'm sorry. I'm reading the book. And I'm going to learn on my own first before I sign up for membership. Because, now, I can say this. When you go to Trader Joe's, Publix, and places like that, Fresh Market, and you see, I call them the Pilates girls. You can tell they take Pilates. Their bodies are very feminine. It's, it's um, how can I say this? It's structured, but it's not so masculine. And you can tell they take Pilates. It's something that Pilates does to the body. And I said, I'm definitely taking Pilates, okay? But right now, I have been on the DB Method Machine because I want to work on my lower 
from my stomach on down. Um, and I said I was going to do cycling. So I want to eventually move to cycling and Pilates. And I said, I would definitely be getting her book and I purchased it. This is going to, I'm going to add this to my morning ritual, my morning routine. It's called The Pilates Body by Brooke Siller. Brooke Siller, The Pilates Body. The ultimate at home guide to strengthen, lengthening, and toning your body. And I'm going to tell you, like I said, when I go to Trader Joe's, Publix, when I go to, when I go to Publix, I see them at Trader Joe's, the Fresh Market. I call them the Pilates girls. They're going to be toned, but very feminine with it. They're going to be tall and lean or short. And <laughs> they just going to look right. So this is definitely on my to-do list, like ASAP. So I need to hurry up and finish. I got, in rotation, I have like two, three books and then in the evening I have like one because that's my primary book, whatever I'm working on. So I read a little bit here. I read a little bit here, a little bit there. And some of the table of contents. I'm so excited to put this book out. I don't know. Because I always run into the yoga books at Goodwill. I never hardly see Pilates books. So when I saw this, I was like, finally. <laughs> I was like, thank you, goodwill, thank you. What is Pilates? Philosophies behind the Pilates method of body conditioning, um, the mat work principles, key elements to mastering the mat, um, key elements to mastering the mat, frequently asked questions, the mat work, getting started, modified, beginner mat work, and so forth on. This book was $2 at the beautiful goodwill, $2, and I purchased and I purchased I purchased this book for two dollars at Goodwill on Amazon. Currently, it is eighteen ninety seven. And as I said before, the numbers can change on Amazon, and there are other places you can also purchase it. On Amazon, it's eighteen ninety five. Two dollars at Goodwill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I'm gonna get that Pilates body. I'm gonna get it. I'm already. I have a small frame. Now I'm <laughs> I'm very small and petite. Um, but I'm gonna get that Pilates body. I'm so loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. Next. Now, when I saw this journal, I was like, oh, the spirit is always watching over me. <laughs> it's always, always. I'm gonna tell y'all, pray, honey, pray. It's called Eat Pretty, Live Well. I need this journal to go with my other one because I have a journal. Like when I journal, I journal the first half about gratitude. The second one is about thanking for what I will be getting, but I, I act as if I've already received it. Then I journal with my visualization of things I want to see. It's, it's, I have different levels of journaling, okay? But this one called Eat Pretty, Live Well, a guided journal for nourishing beauty inside and out by Jolene Hart, C-H-C-A-A-D-P, okay? And I was like, this is perfect, okay? Because I really wanted to master my morning routine. After, during COVID, I saw the significance of a morning routine. During COVID, I saw the significance of having a morning routine. And it's like, now I need to implement it. I really want to get up every morning at 5 a.m. And I'm going to do it. I'm going, going into 2024, getting up at 5 a.m. I want to be able to meditate, do my breath work, journal, visualize, work out, all of the beautiful stuff, take my supplements, take my cold shower, like the billionaires. But one of the habits that they practice is taking a cold shower, and I've already started that. They meditate, of course. Um, I've already started that. Breath work, I don't think they do that per se. That's something that I'm just incorporating because I feel like it's so significant to do breath work. Um, and I'm learning about that. I'm so excited. Being together in the morning, like getting up, praying first, and meditating, and breath work, and visualizing, and journaling, taking your vitamins and supplements, having a green drink, you know, all the good stuff. You know what I mean? Just think how beautiful that sounds, ladies and gentlemen, and Judy, you know? But anyway, this was $2, and I'm so excited. Now, I don't think this has a particular content. Oh, it actually does. Okay, so tools for nourishing beauty, what it means to eat pretty. Oh, 
I can agree, I concur with her because let me tell you all, when I make my salads, oh, it's such a beautiful experience. It's just something about when I make my salads. I just feel so beautiful, so sophisticated, so elegant, so re refined. Oh, it's just so about it. it just takes me up to a whole other level. Beauty foods from A to Z, the E for you plates, grocery list for beauty goals. Oh, I love that. An ideal beautifying day. My beauty profile, seasonal beauty food list, checklist. Look, this right here is like a holy grail for my morning routine. So I'm gonna take this and incorporate with my other journal journals because I have like four journals that I use. So yeah, her book currently on Amazon is sixteen dollars and ninety five cents. Sixteen dollars and ninety five cents. I purchased it for two dollars. So appreciative, thank you. All right, next. Okay. This book is called Raised Big Garden for Beginners. I told you all, any book that's going to just take my life to a whole other level, I'm getting it. I'm and I'm telling you, I'm going through these books. I'm going, I'm just going through them. I'm just just going through books okay raised bed gardening for beginners by Tan by tammy wally everything you need to know to start and sustain a thriving garden yes 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 and i will share some of her beautiful table of contents the book is beautiful oh planning your garden building structures soil planting growing and harvesting planting profiles and what tends to happen, you gonna when you begin to get books that have similarities, you gotta get the foundation, but then eventually you're gonna start getting that customization. That's why you gotta get through the book. And so I'm excited. This was two dollars at the beautiful Goodwill. On Amazon, it's fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Beautiful book. I figure out do I want a town home or a home? Right, because I want to make sure I can do herbs and garden and all that kind of beautiful stuff. Oh. Now I know this book right here is a little vintage. They may have other editions, but this book is called The New Grove Book of Operas. Because I want to go to some operas. I want to travel and go to operas. I just think it's just so beautiful to experience. Um, we do have the Atlanta Opera here locally. And I plan on attending a show or two before the season ends. Hopefully with my schedule. But I want to learn the laws of opera. And I don't want to just put on an outfit and go. Because it's actually a process to it. I want to. I, want, I said, I want to be culture. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really want to be culture. And so these are things I did not necessarily learn when I was young. Some things I did learn, you know, when I was young. I just felt like having this is an asset to my home and library and knowledge. So um, I definitely plan on, and I have another one. I recently found another one. I think when I did my last, um, Wealthy Woman Secret Habit. I believe I did have one, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah. And when I put my library together, I have all of these kind of like in order. How, because I, I have a vision how I want to do my home library. But this book, some of the table of contents, and then I will share the price. I felt this is. This is a book to have. And this does not have any table of contents. This doesn't have any table of contents in it. Yeah, the New Grove Book of Operas, that's the name of the book. The New Grove Book of Operas on Amazon is $25.92. $25.92. ,92. I purchased it for $3 at Google. Oh yes, I remember this. Okay, this book is called The Royal French Silver. And as I was saying before, 
if it's something like antique crystals, china, oriental rugs, paintings, and anything like that, I'm definitely going to get because it's teaching me um, about antiques and things of that nature. This book right here, The Royal French Silver. Yeah, the property of George Ortiz. This is a Sotheby's book. Everybody knows Sotheby's. Um, they focus on the rich and famous. <laughs> You know what I mean? Sotheby's, okay. They're like Christie's. Um, I felt this was a good investment because I definitely want a silver um, china set. Oh. I have been looking at a silver china set probably since I've been in high school. <laughs> yes. Now I've had like the little replicas that may cost a hundred, two hundred dollars here, but the set the set that I have been on is probably like 7 k <laughs> I'm like, but I won't buy that until I purchase a home. But yes, I felt this was a very beautiful investment. Royal French Silver. And this is $24 on Amazon website. $24. The French Royal French Silver. Um, I come from a family of educators, either in my family, they are in the medical field and law. They're gonna be educators, law, the medical field, or entrepreneurs. And when I saw this, I was like, I want this Royal Atlas. Now this is an older version, but I still want it. I felt like this is a very good educational investment. I just think things like this is valuable for me. You know what I mean? Where I plan on traveling the world anyway and actually doing philanthropic work. <laughs> I feel like having a globe in your home is significant. And this right here will complement that. I think I have something else similar to, another book similar to this. Because you all have to understand, I've been getting purchasing books from Goodwill for some years now. And for some reason since I'm vlogging, I said I would share some of this. So I'm not new to this. This is kind of like, season, I'm seasoned at it. Um, but I believe I have something else similar to this. And yeah, I, I, I want I want to have like an updated version, but this is probably some years ago, but it states, it says the Atlas for the 21st century. So I just feel like this is a very, very good investment. And I love history, I love science, math, and all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff. So this was definitely something that I want to have in my home. And this was $3 at Goodwill. And look how heavy it is. It's like extremely heavy and huge. Um, it's $60 currently on Amazon. $60 on Amazon website. And I can purchase it for $3. Okay, so let's move on to the next bag. Hopefully you all are still with me throughout this process. Like I said, this excites excites me this is part of my life this is part of my soft life era you know what i mean now, i'm not saying live a soft life and you don't do anything no that's not what i'm advocating i'm just saying move with grace ease and flow right and with your feminine attributes <laughs> but let's move on to the next goodwill bag of treasures I attended Spelman College as I shared before and graduated. Um, I received a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Sociology with a focus on human behavior. And of course, I attended Clark Atlanta University, Whitney M. Young School of Social Work. And I also have a Master's in Social Work with a specialization in Health and Mental Health. I've attended Emory University and John Hopkins University. and. Um, so why did I bring up my education? When I was at Spelman, this particular person came to Spelman to speak. And I was so hurt because my, my mother had passed away and I was grieving, so I didn't get a chance to meet her. However, she came here to Atlanta a couple years back and she wrote a children's book. And I was able to meet her and actually I was so scared the Secret Service <laughs> was gonna say something, but they, they let me finish talking to her. I was like, I remember when you came to Spelman and I couldn't get a chance to meet you. And she was like, oh, she was so welcoming and so nice. 
and I am talking about the Chelsea Clinton. I was so blown away to find her book. She wrote a children's book and I was actually able to get it because I purchased tickets and, um, and meet her and take a picture and not only take a picture but also um, I have a picture with Chelsea and not only just a picture I have the book. She signed the book too. Okay. Such a treat. Okay, and that happened, I think, in DeKalb County at a bookstore. Beautiful bookstore. Beautiful, beautiful. But anyway, I was able to get her book, not the children's book. She wrote a book called It's Your World. Get informed, get inspired, and get going. Yes, Chelsea Clinton. It's Your World. Get informed, get inspired, and get going. Now, Chelsea Clinton is the daughter of President, former President, Bill and Hillary Clinton, former first lady and former president. Y'all know President Clinton. Everybody loves President Clinton, okay? Everybody. Okay, so I was able to get her book and I was so blessed. I was like, oh my goodness, because like I said, she wrote a children's book. And the title of her children's book is called 50 Simple Things Kids Can Do to Save the Earth. I remember that book. You know, it's a treat, like I say, to find things like this at Goodwill. Um, Chapter one, one dollar and twenty-five cent a day, poverty around the world. Ooh, this is gonna be definitely good. Chapter two, thirty-two dollars a day, poverty in America. Chapter three, time for school. Chapter four, we're not there yet, gender equality. Chapter five, staying healthy. Chapter six, viruses and vaccines. Chapter seven, bugs and bacteria, and it goes on. This is such a treat to have her book oh and I had the privilege I had the privilege and honor to meet her yes I did so I purchased this book for three dollars at Goodwill Chelsea Clinton first lady Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton her book on Amazon goes for $18.99 like as I said before these numbers can be skewed the holidays um, other variables can contribute to the number being shifted and or decreased or increased okay but the book is $18.99 on Amazon and I was able to beautiful receive a blessing and purchase it for three dollars mm, we love you Chelsea Clinton we love the Clintons okay we love the Clintons all right next I showed I really really need me an assistant though I'm making a mess. Now, when I saw this book, I said, oh, I got to get this book. I had to get this book because he's like one of the great actors, directors, and producers, and all of that. Okay. He's one of the top ones. Okay. Let's give credit where it's due. It is called The Passion. The Passion by Mel Gibson. Okay. This book. Now, this is a coffee table book, too, because it's full of pictures, Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> full of pictures. That movie was phenomenal. Everybody knows uh, Mel Gibson, but my favorite movie of Mel Gibson is Mad Max. I love me some Mad Max. And they made it again, and I think they have a third version coming out of them, I'm not mistaken. Now, the second one was good. She did a really good job, but it's something about that Mad Max. And that first one now, that, that's the movie, okay? So y'all know he's um, the passion. It's called the passion. He was the he was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with bitter bitterest grief. Forwarded by Mel Gibson. Okay, so it's full of pictures from the movie, and I said, oh, I have to get this. Y'all know I'm a believer now, so I had to get this. Yep, I said I have to have to get this because it's full of beautiful pit it's full of beautiful pictures in it and y'all know I said Mel Gibson is one of the top ones he's good at what he does okay this book three dollars at Goodwill and on Amazon it's twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents next now let me tell y'all this when I saw this book I told y'all I don't do novels per se and if I do an autobiography Typically, if I get somebody an autobiography, it has to be something relatable or something dealing with social work, um, public health, um, 
sociology because those are all my major business it gotta be something that's gonna really touch my heart now this person when i saw his book i was like what not him now prior to him getting into entrepreneurship, she did something different okay i don't know much about that industry and we're talking about basketball i can't <laughs> I can't tell you the hill of beans about basketball. I just know this man and his wife have really made marks in the community, okay? He's really, really done phenomenal with his family. And you all are gonna be shocked with what I'm about to show you all who book that I have. I was able to get, I need a drum, drum roll for this one. I was able to get Urban Magic Johnson book. How? Do y'all see this? Do y'all not see? Now, like I said, I purchased his book because it, this is the title. 32 Ways to Be a Champion in Business. Now, who won't want to read this? <laughs> okay? I said, I have guys to get this. I cannot leave this on the shelf. But let me tell y'all, not only I was able to get this one, hold up, hold on, hold on, stop, pause. Because I plan on blessing giving somebody else the other one. Yes, do y'all do y'all do y'all not see how do y'all not see what your heart is seeking is seeking you? Do y'all not see this? Do y'all not see these masterpieces? Like, do y'all see this? Do y'all not see? Okay. When I saw Magic Johnson, I couldn't tell I Magic, I couldn't have no conversation with about basketball. I, he'll be mad at me. But entrepreneurship, we can talk. We can talk. He may cookie his beautiful wife. Cookie. The Johnsons doing it. They are doing it. They are doing it, doing it, okay? She's so beautiful. He has such a beautiful wife. I just love their family, okay? Um, the book is called Urban Magic Johnson, Entrepreneur and Community Leader. 32 Ways to Be a Champion in Business. Now, brothers out there, I know y'all like to be on social media, you know, go to the games. I, I know the average black man would be like, how you get that book? Y'all, y'all not see this book. Y'all need to get on it. Magic wrote a book. He giving y'all some keys, some gold, and you know he got some stuff in here. I don't care if it's mindset work. I don't. You all might not do the business he does, but a lot of times it be the mindset work too can make a difference. So Magic has had restaurants, movie theaters, try your name, it, insurance. I'm trying to tell y'all. He giving you 32 ways. I mean, how much more do you need? Let me give y'all some of the table of contents. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to tag his wife and tell his wife, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure she don't run her social media though. <laughs> okay. Magic move, the mission, magic move. Um, the mission, got it. Vision, entrepreneur, passion, conquering fears, focus on strengths. Season and opportunities, risk and rewards, creating a strong business plan. Look, he has some more here. I'm not gonna give it all. I want y'all to buy a book. <laughs> I'm not gonna give y'all everything. This is a masterpiece to be able to have Magic Johnson's book. And he's opening up and being vulnerable about entrepreneurship because it has right here a champion in business. And y'all know if he was champion on the court now, he gonna be champion when it comes to entrepreneurship. He ain't gonna play small, he's gonna be competitive. I'm just gonna sit back and take notes. <laughs> I'm not a competitive person. I move with grace, ease, and flow, but I know he gave us some golden nuggets and I will be there to pick it up and put it on paper and read it and comprehend it, okay? And take my notes. Y'all better pay attention. Pay attention. Two dollars. This is a million dollar book. And why I say that, when people write, they're, now, we're talking about, imagine it might be in his 50s or 60s. 60s. We're talking about a person taking so many years and putting it in writing in such a short period of time. But everybody can get something out of this book, so let's not short, let's not treat this, look over this. Let's not treat it like it's just another piece of masterpiece, okay? This is a masterpiece, okay? Let's, let's take it for what it is, okay? We talking about magic. And on Amazon, on Amazon, the book is currently $15. $15 on Amazon. And I purchased 
each one of those books for two dollars what an investment to have to be able to put in my home library yay thank you thank you to the donors thank you i appreciate it because i definitely plan on reading that that is self-help self-development transformation a mindset that's why i say now y'all watching basketball some of these guys i'm pretty sure come off the court football they come out of come off the field baseball come off the field and they take time and write how they feel either it be a novel either it be business either it be family or whatever it is you can learn so it's worth the investment you know if you feel that's what you need okay next all right now when i saw this book back to oprah oprah now we got the same spirit y'all gonna be shocked i found a book now i have been finding her books on and off and i've been working on it so i'm gonna have her collection as well um i'm talking about maya angelo Yes, I do. Maya, Maya Angelou, my Maya Angelou. This book is called Letter to My Daughter. Yes. And I will give you some of the table of contents. Home, philanthropy. I'm already, because y'all know that's what I want. I'm already, it, I don't need to say anything else for me to read. Because <laughs> I know I'm reading. Okay, Revelations, giving birth, accident, coincidence, and answer prayer. To tell the truth, violence, mother long view, and it just goes on. I'm so happy to have this book in my possession. I have her cookbook, and you all go check out the video. I did one of her recipes. I have another, I have like three, four of her books. Yes, babe, and I, and my Angelo, I have this one. Y'all know who my Angelo is. She's done some phenomenal work. <sighs> Mm, 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 mm. This is this is beautiful. Two dollars and on Amazon it's currently seventeen dollars. Two dollars I paid two dollars and on Amazon is seventeen dollars. And hopefully over time I can have her collection, Alice Walker collection, Oprah collection. I have all the Tyler Perry books. I have his Medea and Hire is Waiting. Um I'm just so these are the people that touch me some way or somehow you know you have to be careful who you follow who you listen to be careful who you follow and listen to make sure they bring you value you know a lot of times you don't have to know these people they gonna write something you go pay for and get that knowledge you know what i'm saying instead of waiting to meet oprah she has a plethora of books instead of waiting to meet tyler perry he has one on Medea, and it's so funny i love it it's so funny and then um he has his business book um tire is waiting he's been transparent As a matter of fact he just came out with a documentary okay maxine's baby love it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we all love tom perry he runs uh, atlanta is tom perry okay if you don't say that something wrong but um the documentary is it just it's life-changing i recommend for you to see it and it is on amazon prime I recommend for you to see it. It's um, it's it's remarkable. It's miraculous, and you if it can you can relate to something in that documentary. So if you're thriving to go higher to aim higher, you need to see that documentary. It's really really good. They did a phenomenal job on it. They did a really really good job on the documentary. They did from the producers, the director, everybody did a phenomenal job on the documentary. Now. I understand why they did that documentary, documentary because it's around his the mom. It's center. It's, the focus is his beautiful mother. Um, I'm interested to see in about 10 to 15 years another documentary on his life. Because this was about his life in the earlier part of his career. So like right now... It, it's shifted majorly. You get what I mean? Like he's he's changing now from a lot of that pain. Tyler is actually in a, a he's actually living now. You can kind of tell he's he's living. So the story changes. 
You get what I mean? You, you meet new people, you experience new things. Um, you don't forget where you come from, obviously. He never forgets where he comes from. He, he expressed where he comes from, his roots and things of that nature. Um, he keep it very, he keep, he keep the culture within his heart. So, but I'm interested to see where he's gonna go in about 10 to 15 years. Who's gonna have that honor to do that documentary? I would like to know because that documentary is gonna be totally different than this documentary because this documentary will be about, you know, from like from now, you know, possibly having more children, getting married, um, growing more in his businesses, um, movies, collaborations. It's, it's a lot. That's if that's what he wants to do. Uh, you know, I'm just saying that's we're just I'm just talking from a generic perspective, like where he's headed. Whoever gets into that documentary, that's gonna be a treat. So if you're close to him, um just stay abreast, keep your work ethics high because he works his work ethics are on level ten. Um stay prayed up because you got people want to do that next documentary. That next documentary is gonna be phenomenal. Because now he's gonna be open up to who he is at this moment in his life moving forward you know what i mean so whoever gets to do that that's gonna be a treat okay next oh okay now i found this book this particular woman made it okay to be beautiful and darker complexion and you all will understand why i'm getting ready to say this I'm talking about Tara, Tara Banks. Tara's beauty, okay? She made it okay, and you can be brown-skinned, you know what I mean? You don't have to be a, a lighter complexion. You can be brown-skinned and still be loved and beautiful and fashionable and all, be trendy and take risk. We're talking about Tara Banks and her, Tara Banks, and her book is called Tara's Beauty Inside and Out. She really made it okay for sisters. Now, of course, you had Naomi Campbell back then. I get it. But Tara, she just, she just, I remember on Tara, I remember Tara saying, after her success, she still had her Lexus, if I'm not mistaken. She's been very humble. Tara Banks has been a humble woman. <laughs> She's very humble and to herself. You rarely hear anything about her in the media, bad or negative. Um, I know few years back she had a baby if I'm not mistaken um, she's just a business woman business savvy woman she's if she comes out it's all about business and then she goes back in and mind her and mind her business she's not a woman who's in stuff and chaos you don't you don't hear that when I hear of Tara Banks name it's always about business it's gonna either be top model what she's produced it's gonna be something dealing with business it's not gonna be chaos she comes with entrepreneurship. She has an entrepreneurial spirit. But she made it okay to be brown and beautiful. Like, it's okay. You can wear that outfit. You can put on that makeup. She just keeps it 100% authentic. She, she doesn't shift change for anybody. She is going to be herself. It means necessary. I, I noticed that about her. But Tara Bain's book, I'm excited to have. Um, let me give you some of the table of contents. Uh, do she have any? Okay, her contents are different. Okay, I like how she did this. Hey, what's up, I'm. And then next is head to toe glow, makeup skills, turning heads, body language, fashion, flying on a natural high, sex rated, the inside story. And do she have any more? Oh, look at her baby. Oh, look at the baby pictures. So I'm excited to have this because she is a woman of color and she has breaking so many glass on this. She has really um, made a path for women who want to be more fashionable, more trendy, 
beautiful and it's not like she's saying just on the outside it's on the inside too and i really salute and, and uh, commend her on that that she has really made a way for other women of color to say you're beautiful on the inside and out so i'm excited about reading her masterpiece she has beautiful pictures in here and things she's sharing and she has had long success her sex has been very long She's been out there for a long time. Um, she's been out there for a long time. She was like a young teenager when she got started. Her book on Amazon is $16.95, $16.95. And I was able to purchase it for $2. And I really appreciate and I'm grateful to the person who donated her book because I definitely read it. Definitely, definitely be reading her masterpiece. Okay, so the next person, um, now, when I saw this book, I was on the fence at first. I was like, wait a minute. When I saw the name, I was like, oh, okay, I got to get this book. But then when I saw the title, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, hmm. It's like one of those things. I am talking about Spike Lee, my Morehouse brother. Now, when I was at Spelman College, uh, of course, Spike Lee wasn't there. He's older than I am. But uh, my suite at the library was not too far from his because he has a suite at AUC Library. And of course, I was able to get one because I was in the library like, all the time. And so one of the ladies that worked there, she was like, come on, honey, let me get you a suite. <laughs> and I remember um, security was showing me who um, library suite was who. And he mentioned Spike Lee. And I also had the privilege to... Um, see Spike Lee on Spelman's campus as well as do a project with a Spelmanites on the four little girls and um, yeah it's, it's personal but anyway the book is called Spike Lee the best seat in the house a basketball memoir now when I saw this I was like I don't know about no basketball but I couldn't leave my more house brother on the shelf I was like no so I'm like okay I'm gonna read it then I'm gonna bless and give it some give it to somebody but I don't know if I am because I'm like, I might read it and like it. I don't know if this sounds so selfish, doesn't it? But we all love Spike Lee. He has done so much in the community. He's written so many movies. I mean, he is a phenomenal writer. Producer, director as well. For some reason, I'm attracting this now. I don't know what God is trying to tell me. But Spike Lee, Bessie in the house. I'm impressed. I'm going to make sure I take care of this book. Let me show y'all. Y'all know Spike Lee. Everybody knows Spike Lee. Everybody knows him. He's done so many movies from Malcolm X. She's Gotta Have It. Do the Right Thing. And he's also married to beautiful Tanya. My sister's name is Tanya. And also Samuel Jackson is married to Tanya. So, I said I have to get this book and I have to read it. I feel like he's going to have some golden nuggets in here. Now, I'm thinking maybe he's using, because I know he liked the Knicks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I'm going to keep it or if I'm donate it. Because I know somebody who likes basketball. You know, I'm going to talk to my nephew and see. So I got somebody who will appreciate this. My sister Ashley will really appreciate it because she loves basketball in general. And I'm like, I cannot leave Spike Lee boot on that shelf at Google. I said, I got to get it. Three, this was three dollars, and it was so worth it. Okay, I. This was a blessing. Let me give you some of the table of contents. Okay, it's cute. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. And it's twenty-three dollars online. I couldn't I couldn't leave the Morehouse Brother book mm -mm. no no and so as I was saying it's $23 on Amazon we love you Spike Lee we salute we love you too okay next next now when I saw this book I got so warm-hearted because I was like oh this was on one of my favorite movies I'm, okay, so I'm going to give you a hint. It's going to be something like the Devil's Wear product. That's me. I, I'm those kind of, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a girly girl type of movie, okay? And I'm, I'm, it's extreme because I either like 
girly girl movies or like action pack. It's, it's, it's gonna be like that. It's so extreme. It's so different. Okay. And the outliers. Okay, this book is called Love Letters of Great Men, inspired by the big screen. Of course, Carrie Bradshaw, Sex in the City. I am the Devil West Prada, Sex in the City type of girl, okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> I, I was loving Heart of Dixie, uh, Gossip Girl. Those kind of those are kind of shows that I would typically watch, but my favorite all time is the Browns and Pains, okay? That's family right there. But for entertainment purposes, of course, I'm definitely um, <laughs> Devil Wears Prada in uh, Sex and the City. It's just some about them shows. And I also love Desperate Housewives. Whoever wrote, I forgot his name, who wrote Desperate Housewives, that show, that writer was on point. <laughs> I love that, love that show. But it ended up, I think it did like six years, if I'm not mistaken, six years, Desperate Housewives. I used to love that show. But anyway, um, Love Letters of Great Men, I just felt like, I used to look this book up. I was gonna go to the library and get it. And I said, I wouldn't mind having one, but I would have to take out time to really do this, for Great Letters of Great Black Men. Now I know somebody gonna hear this and hurt, break, and hurt they still trying to write it for me. <laughs> they go. They gonna hurt, they still trying to get this book done. Brothers and sisters, okay? Love letters of great black men, okay? Because this book right here, it focuses more on mainstream, but I wanted the book because I love Sex and the City and I thought this was a great asset to have. And I was like, oh, that'll be beautiful. Great love letters of great black men. We need that, right? Some of the table of content, Okay, plenty of the younger to his wife, King Henry, Alexander Pope, David Hume, Lawrence Stern, just giving you all some of the names, Henry Frederick, Lord Nelson, Charlotte. This is, this is about the mainstream, but I got this book for history purposes as well as I wanted to read the actual love letters. So I thought that was beautiful. And um, hopefully this will inspire someone to write a book on love letters of great black men. We need more love letters. We do. When the last time y'all wrote a love letter to somebody? Think about it. It's beautiful. This book was $3. Of course, it's hardback. And online, on Amazon, it is $17.99. And the lady who wrote that book was Ursula Doyle. Ursula Doyle, okay? Now, when I saw this book, I said, I have to get it because it's self-help, personal development. It's a personal development book, self-help book. And we are talking about The Richest Man of Babylon. Now, I already have this book, of course. It's different. It's, I think it's hardback, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but I do have it. I said, I cannot leave this book on the shelf. This is my kind of book, okay? Um, it's by George S. Plasson and some of the table of contents. This ain't low money is plentiful. Low money is plentiful for those who understand the simple rules of its acquisition. Number one, start thy purse to flattening. Number two, control thy expenditures. Number three, make thy gold multiply. Number four, guard thy treasures from loss. Number five, make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. Number six, ensure a future income. And number seven, increase thy ability to earn the richest man in Babylon. The richest man in Babylon. Okay, and table of contents. The man who desired gold, the richest man in Babylon. Seven cures for a lean purse. Meet the goddess of good luck. The five laws of gold. The gold lender of Babylon and it goes on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Two dollars, right? So everybody wants to become wealthy. They want to um, become multimillionaires. They want to have a life of freedom, grace, ease, and flow. They want to have more time, more choices. And you need to begin to read it to help you. You know what I mean? And I've heard people say they didn't have a mentor, books. It's a form of mentorship. They didn't have money to go to college. This is a form of learning. 
don't 